Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. All right, you all, today we are working with the wonderful Curly Me Hair. Curly Me sent us over this 30 inch 250% Disney T Waterway wig. Make sure you check the description box below for more details and information on how to purchase this wig. This wig comes with the knots, very tiny. It comes with true HG lace. It's pre plucked to a T, y'all, and it's super full. Y'all know I love me some curly hair or wavy hair from Curly Me. The lace is a 13 by 4 with only about 2 inches of parting space on the side, but you can still work around that. It comes with combs in the inside and an adjustable strap. I'm so ready for y'all to get into this look. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. Today we'll be doing some colors. So I got my bucket, my BW2 powder, and my 50 volume developer. You want to go ahead off camera and bleach your knots. You want to do this because the bleach water method is not strong enough to bleach your knots fully. So go ahead and bleach your knots off camera and then come back and do the bleach water method. I'm going to throw some BW2 powder in my bucket along with some 50 volume developer. And I'm going to mix that very well. And now we're going to add the hottest water that the faucet can produce to our bucket. And once we get done adding that, we're going to mix that around very well. And then it'll be time to do our bleach water method. So now you just want to dunk that wig straight in that bucket. Make sure you get all that bleach water mixture all over the wig. You're going to work it through with your fingers, your hands. You're going to also brush it through, open up the wig. Make sure that this product is getting all over the wig and you're not missing any spots. That way you can get an even bleach. Now we're going to wrap our bucket with foil just to make sure that no air is seeping out. And I'm going to let this process for about 25 to 30 minutes, you know, check on it periodically. Make sure you're not about to cause the fire in there because, you know, with that heat from this chemical being trapped in there, you know, sometimes your foil may expand and things. You don't want to have no combustion, you know. <laughs> you don't want to have no explosion, but, you know, just watch it. But I like to trap the heat in there because I feel like it helps the process, you know, more. So now we're back from our 25 to 30 minutes of waiting. And as you can see, the wig has turned to like this golden color. And that's exactly what we need to do our color for today. As you can see, it's smoking because it was processed and that heat wasn't able to um, escape. So that's why you see the smoke. But don't be alarmed. It's normal. Just rinse it out with some cool water. And then we'll get into our shampoo and conditioning and dyeing process and all that. So stay tuned.
I'll be using my Olaplex Bun Maintenance Clarifying Shampoo. I like to use this clarifying shampoo when I've processed the hell out of a wig. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that we don't run into any issues like shedding or breaking all over the place. It really clarifies the hair and get the bleach and all those other products out of there. But it also maintains like the strength and you know, the elasticity of the hair. We're gonna rinse that out with warm water and then we're gonna get into this watercolor method. Today we'll be using a door Cajun Spice and French Cognac. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill your bucket with the hottest water from the faucet. I used one full bottle of French Cognac and then I used half a bottle of Cajun Spice. Once you get all those dyes in that bucket, you wanna mix that very well. And go ahead now and dip your whole wig into the bucket. You don't have to be afraid. You can get the lace in the mixture and everything. It's best to dip the whole thing in at the same time. That way you have the same color. If you did like I did, you know, just dip the ends in first and then do the lace last, you'll notice that your ends are like a more darker or a more true color of the color and then the top is more like faded so go ahead and just dip the whole wig in there at the same time make sure you're working it through with your fingers make sure you're brushing it through all of that good jazz and once you get done with that you're going to rinse everything out with cool water I'll be using my Paul Mitchell Instant Moisture Shampoo and Condition to shampoo and condition the wig. After we shampoo the hair, we'll rinse that out with warm water. And after we condition the hair, we'll rinse that out with cool water. Sticking on your backstage pass, all access, cause you bad. You could go wherever with that ass. Show to the shower, to the truck, truck to the club for the party. You go in first with your girls, cause I don't know who's out there watching. But I do know one thing, yo. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday, Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day, maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway, on this one way. We are done with our ginger like hair color, and now it's time to head to the salon. I'll see you there. 
We are here with our favorite girl, Nisha. Let's get this install popping. So what I'm going to do is just position the wig on her head. I did not put any makeup on this wig today as the lace was just blending in with her skin already. So I felt that it was no need to add any makeup. I did add makeup to her cap though off camera, but I didn't add any makeup to the lace today as this is a true HD lace. Like you could just look at the lace and tell like this is some good lace. I also did not pluck anything out this wig, y'all. This wig came plucked to a T. Shout out to Curly Me Hair. Right now, I'm just sewing down the wig. I'll be using King Collection Adhesive today. You can get it on Instagram at hair underscore king. Tell them Jordan sent you. So I've already applied the glue in the shape of her hairline and I'm just gonna smooth that back. Make sure that each layer turns clear before you apply the next. We did four layers today. We're going to come back when that fourth layer has turned clear. And that fourth layer is clear now, so let's go ahead and lay that lace down. We're going to blow dry that lace interchanging between warm and cool air on high speed for about a minute. And once that minute is up, we're going to go ahead and tie down this wig with our elastic band for about 10 minutes. Those 10 minutes are up, so let's take off that elastic band and proceed to cut off all the excess lace. We are done cutting up all our lace and now we're going to section out our baby hairs. We'll be doing two on each side today. We'll be using our hair flex hairspray today to melt our lace. We're just going to spray that from a distance liberally all over the lace. And then we're going to tie it down with our elastic band.
Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. So now we're just using our wax stick and our hot comb just to mold the hair into place. Today we'll be doing a half of half down hairstyle, so stay tuned. Our 10 minutes are up, so let's take off the elastic band. And as you'll see, the lace is melted. And now we're going to do our baby hairs. Before we put her under the dryer on high for 20 minutes, we're gonna define these curls. We're just gonna spray everything down with a mist spray bottle. I only have water in the bottle. And then we're gonna follow that up with our Cream of Nature foaming mousse. And we're gonna brush everything out with a paddle brush.
she is now back from the dryer, so we're gonna cut out those wrap strips and then we're gonna proceed to doing our half up, half down part. Of course, you know I had to customize the baby hairs off camera. Today we are using our Even Wonder Lace Bond Spray, the red can, and we're just gonna hot comb the hair first, then we're gonna spray that spray all over the front part of the hair that's gonna be going into the ponytail. I like to comb the hair and then follow it up with the brush. Um, you could use the brush side of your edge brush or you could use like a board bristle brush or like a, a men's wave brush just to smooth everything out. And then we're just gonna put the hair into a ponytail, y'all. And now we're gonna add a scrunchie that just matches her outfit just to give the hair some more pizzazz. And y'all, get into the half up, half down. I'm gonna spray the hair with some water just to get those curls on the ponytail defined. I don't want it too wet because I still want the ponytail to look full as we didn't add any hair to it. This is just the hair from the frontal and a little bit of the tracks in the back. And y'all, once we do that, the style will be done, y'all. Let's get into this hair, this color, the overall vibe, y'all. It is giving. Let's get into that final look. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you check the description box below for more information. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.